Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a pick a card, which is all about where should I be putting my focus. So we have group number one, two, three and four. This video is also really good if you're feeling stuck or you're just kind of confused about what to do or just kind of, you know, what messages should be coming through for you. So what messages you want to know. So as I said, we've got group number one, two, three and four. Please choose your group and we'll take 10 seconds to choose your group. Okay, let's start off with group number one. Hello group number one, so we have this gorgeous opalite. This is one of my fave crystals. I always resonate with the opalite. I'm not sure why, I think it's because it's quite like an iridescent, quite a pure color. I just love white, so I think it's really, really pretty, obviously, as you can see by my backdrop. So let's see what you need to know right now. So we have the five of wands with the seven of wands. Okay, interesting, let's put those two up there. Okay, and then we also have delight. Prayers and wishes. Sorry about the lighting guys, I can't help it. That in England right now it is so dark, so it's really hard to like show you this card. Prayers and wishes, air magic. Plant the seeds, self-discipline, communication, I mean clear quartz meditation. And we also have answered prayers. All your work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So if you feel like you're stuck right now, just letting you know that the universe is here to kind of help you through this situation. They're here to help guide you through whatever's going on. So basically you're not alone and they're letting you know that you actually are going to have a lot of rewards after you go through this so you could be fighting off some sort of issue that needs to be sorted you may already know what this is if not if this doesn't resonate or as, as always just choose another group or obviously watch another video if this doesn't resonate but i do sense you are kind of cultivating something okay you're trying to cleanse and purge out a lot of the old and you're kind of trying to bring in the new, okay? So you are wishing for some new things to happen. It's funny because we have prayers and wishes and we also have plant the seeds and I see these two cards as very, very similar. This girl here, she's really, she's um, putting a coin into the wishing well and she's like waiting for it to kind of come true. And then we also have the plant the seeds. So a very, very similar energy both waiting for their kind of, well, they're waiting for what's gonna happen. So basically, I feel like you guys have actually planted the seeds. You may not feel like you have, but you, you actually have. And um, with air magic, I see this card as possibly an air sign coming in. Could be um, you're an air sign or you know an air sign that in this situation involves. Um, it could also just be that there is new things coming in within the air. I'm also getting with this, I think it's called a peregrine falcon. I think that that's a really good bird to kind of focus on. And also a horse fly. I'm not sure if that a horse fly is actually real, but I know this is kind of like an actual horse fly. Um, those two are kind of like really big. I feel like doves as well are a very big like sign for you. Because I feel like for you guys, you are going to get peace after this. So what do you need to focus on? You need to focus on joy. You need to focus on meditating. Okay, that's really, really going to help you. You need to focus on the end goal. What is it that you want? Um, what would you do if you wasn't scared? What would you do if you wasn't afraid? You need to have discipline with yourself because I feel like for some of you, you are quite stuck and you may be putting yourself in this situation for a bit too longer, a bit too, sorry, a bit too much of a lot, like too long. Basically, you've been putting yourself in a situation for too long. Um, you may need to come out of it now, okay? Obviously, for some of you guys, this is going to resonate for some of you. We've also got a tiny little dragonfly here and a couple of dragonflies on this card. So dragonflies are also going to be really, really good for you, like a really big sign for you. Um, can also be butterflies as well, but I'm feeling more dragonflies. I see dragonflies as more of like the masculine insect and the butterflies as like the feminine. So I feel like for you guys, with that in mind, I feel like there's some sort of action that you need to take that you may not have already taken already. If you know what this is, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, then just let that fly. Um, with communication, this could be standing up for yourself and communicating how you really feel. This can also um, pertain to, is that the right word, pertain to? <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting, <coughs> I'm getting a lot of new vocabulary today. Um, this can also relate to you 
speaking your truth and speaking to yourself about how you really feel and not kind of denying that there's changes going on because there is and you are going to reap the rewards very soon okay guys um so that's what i'm feeling for this group i feel like also the solar plexus is <clears throat> a really big focus for you guys like it's really important for you to focus on your solar plexus so creativity is going to really really help um, and to just be disciplined with yourself and to say, hey, like, what can we do to improve the situation? If you really don't know, have a meditation, just relax, do some artwork, possibly do something crafty, you know, do whatever makes you happy. And there is delight coming for you. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. So I feel like also for some of you guys, some of you guys who have chosen this group, I feel like some of you have gone through depression or can are, or are currently depressed and feeling depressed. So sending you lots of love to you guys um and also it's really important if you are feeling low to focus on things that you are really really grateful for even if they're little things um when i was feeling very low at a time of my life i took three things out of my life and i wrote them down every single day that i was grateful for and it could be the most tiniest thing it could be getting out of bed eating nice food just eating food could be just waking up and getting out of bed kind of uh, having a shower having a bath i don't know if i repeated myself then about getting out of bed but for some reason my brain is like mush today so that is where we're going so for some of you guys your brains could be like mush too so it's really important for you to clear your head and just kind of focus on the moment and get out in nature as well so thank you so much for watching guys if this resonated please give a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love sending you lots of love bye guys Hello grit number two, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So as similar to grit number one, we have opalite. They also had opalite too, but you have a opalite palm stone. For some reason I wanted to choose two opalites, but for you guys, I feel like you're possibly gonna have a very similar message, but kind of in a different way. So we're gonna see what's going on with that. Um, I see my opalite stone as like a happiness stone. It's a very calming kind of chilled stone. So I feel like for you guys, it's really important for you to get in your calm, quiet space, okay? So we have Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. So two opposing energies, or just kind of two energies that are quite opposite. I don't know why I said that like that, quite opposite. <laughs> um, we also have Anger, okay? We then have Connect with Gaia rebirth and reinvention affirmation for growth and affirmation for positive change we then have charoite spiritual protection you are being watched over and protected physically emotionally and energetically rose quartz seraphonite honesty sorry guys i'm running out of room i'm running out of room citrine abundance creativity we also have new beginnings physical activity parenting domestic harmony and we also have karmic completion right so let's start off with these on the top because i'm running out of room <laughs> so for you guys there's a lot going on here i feel like there's going to be actually a couple of messages for each of you so if one message doesn't resonate then there will be another message okay so for some of you there is a parenting aspect to this, okay? So a lot of you guys are really focusing, oh my legs just did a really good tingle then, that was nice. Um, some of you guys are newly parents, some of you guys are really focusing on parenting. You could have a troubled child I'm getting, so a child that um, possibly has um, some sort of mental health issues, um, learning disabilities, um, or just having trouble with something, okay? I'm not saying they're troubled if they have mental health issues, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that they are having troubles of some sort, okay? Whatever that is to them or to you. Um, and I feel like it's you kind of being your most authentic but also assertive self. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Caesar Milan, but he does, like, he helps dogs to kind of, like, make sure they're being, like, they're behaving well because they bring in, like, a lot of, like, dogs who are behaving really badly and it always says being calm and assertive and you can basically use that in any part of life it doesn't have to be to do with dogs um it can be with uh, people your friends um yeah humans <laughs> children that sort of thing so i feel like it's really did that car just move there's some really weird shit going on today um so basically parenting is really really important for you okay and it's really really important for you to kind of um enable that so you are feeling like you're getting something out of it as well you're not just kind of giving 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 also another um another 
message is to kind of parent yourself and to make sure you are being very very kind to yourself okay and to be done to create harmony within your life okay in terms of how you are asserting yourself okay so that is beautiful love that so i feel like that's a separate message for some of you guys so this can also obviously relate to you as well but we're going to put those off to the side for a minute okay so you guys are going to have a new beginning and karmic completion which is absolutely stunning so what you need to focus on right now is is um and basically ending your karma and as i said that this can be to do with parenting yourself loving yourself um and being really honest with who you are okay and being really um yeah being really like specific about how you spend your time and how your time is spent with others and if you're basically hanging around with toxic people or it's basically for your own good okay so it's basically cleansing yourself and making sure you're doing a good thing for yourself you know putting your foot down um but the fact we've got comic completion we also got new beginnings is absolutely amazing i'm really really happy for you guys this is really really stunning energy and i'm really really happy um to see this this looks really really good and it basically means that you guys are starting a new beginning, which is absolutely amazing. So if you are feeling stuck, this is basically what's happening. And I think that's really, really good. Okay. We've also got physical activity. So what I'm seeing is for you guys, it's really important for you to focus on your physical body. Okay. Connecting with Gaia, rebirth and re reinvention. So what is basically happening is the more you ground yourself, well, my throat just did a weird thing. The more you ground yourself, Sorry, the more you ground yourself and the more you kind of get underneath all the roots. I love this card because it just shows how deep these roots are going into the ground. So basically, and she's kind of feeding off the roots. Can you see like with all the electrical kind of pulses from the ground sort of thing, which is amazing. Um, I do sense that it's really, really important for you to kind of connect with the earth and also this will help you to reinvent yourself and to kind of cleanse yourself detoxify and then because of that you're actually going to be growing and then you're going to be moving on that's what's basically showing me so what what's going to happen right now is you're either in either of these stages you could be in connecting mode you could be in creating and getting the kind of your what you deserve mode um and growing and kind of cultivating and kind of growing who you are or you could be in the mode where you're kind of off, kind of looking forward. So basically like hermit mode, basically hermit mode, the tower mode or full, full mode, you know, so in normal tarot. So that's what I'm kind of feeling for you guys in terms of these cards here. I feel like it's really, really important for you to focus on um, getting grounded to um, clear out old and bring in the new, to embrace growth, to embrace newness. And if it feels scary, don't worry, it's going to be OK um you are expanding so that's really really good and then also to um you're going to be going towards a positive change so whatever this is if you're feeling stuck you are going forward i feel like this queen of swords is very similar to this card here she's both both of these women are looking forward and looking out so it's like you are looking forward to the future it's just getting yourself grounded and solid within the moment first of all okay and you're very spiritually protected you are watched over and protected physically emotionally and energetically so what is really important for you is actually to work, focus on your physical emotional and energetic health um if obviously that's quite a lot to do it in one go so possibly focus on e either or possibly focus on your uh, fitness possibly focus on your mental health possibly focus on meditating you know whatever feels good for you um whatever you're kind of missing in the moment possibly creativity um possibly you're overthinking too much possibly you're feeling a little bit insecure or not very confident each of those is a sign for you to kind of cultivate and focus on that part of you okay so if you feel like you need to kind of um get moving or you are feeling a little bit low um i feel like it's really important for you to move okay this is going to be really good to um get out aggression and anger and use anger as a positive force and honor all these emotions as sacred honor all these emotions as something that's normal and it's not something to just be shaken off okay um what i really want you guys to do is to focus on your creativity so whatever that means to you focus on your body focus on healing yourself focus on creativity focus on being honest with who you are as i said to cultivate these emotions and to actually bring them into being instead of pushing them away and saying no i don't want them be really brave guys and kind of bring it in and say hey i'm gonna freaking do this okay and if and um, if you can't do it on your own 
call up a friend, um, talk to yourself, you know, sometimes talking to yourself in the mirror is quite good because you can actually really talk to yourself and say, hey, what's going on? Even if it's embarrassing, you know, just do it on your own. There's no one to see, you know, there's no judgment. Um, journal um, and yeah, just focus on loving yourself and just being really honest to what those deep parts of you are really trying to show you, okay? I really feel like this group is so like growth like the word growth and the word deep deep growth is really really coming up for me for this one and i feel like it's really really important for you to kind of look at those parts of you that are like fuck <laughs> i don't want to look at them but i'm going to you know and because we've got a karmic completion new beginnings isn't that just so stunning i love that and also a new beginning for you guys could actually be um the fact that you're going to be a parent and also the fact that you could be changing uh, your house or job okay so that is what i'm seeing for you guys um if you would like to please give this video a big old thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you'd like a private reading then all my information is down below i'd love to give you a private reading so all my information and my rates are down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love guys bye hello group number three thank you so much for clicking on this video so today you got the tiger's eye so just looking into this crystal i feel like it's really really important for you to focus on your creativity on your mental health and also to attend we cultivate a soul family okay so that's kind of basically what i channel through that um this can also be to do with um animals as well okay so oh i just got that because in my crystal deck they always say um tiger's eye is to do with animals and now i get it because of a tiger man man i'm slow i'm really freaking slow okay <laughs> Okay, so Page of Wands and the Death card. Beautiful, I love that. That's so pretty. Oh, expansion. Guys, this is so good. I love this group. Right, we have Speak Your Mind. Oh my God, look how cute that cat is. Can we just appreciate? Look at him. He's like, oh my God. Oh, I really love cats, guys. I'm kind of like a cat lady. Say, you could say I'm a witch. <laughs> okay speak your mind healing waters and go with the flow oh nice we then have clearing negativity prenite release and declutter heart chakra oh nice i love this group we then have surrender manifestation pride and music so for you guys what is literally showing me is it's really really important for you to surrender to the moment to go with the flow to kind of balance yourself out i'm getting really big temperance vibes from you guys like i'm getting really big like the temperance card from you guys i'm feeling that really really big and i think it's really really important for you to surrender to the moment surrender to the flow um because what's happening is where you're healing yourself things are changing and if you block yourself off it's going to be 10 times harder or just harder to just kind of move forward so actually what is happening right now is you are expanding and you are in the healing waters right now so you are healing yourself so i feel like for some of you guys you could be in the in the mode of the page of wands where you're kind of looking out or you could be in a death process where you're kind of going in, like inwards you know um so i feel like the page of wands is like a more expansive card as we've got expansion and death is more about going inwards okay or going through like a really big clearing out so for some of you guys it's really really important for you to focus on clearing okay so i do feel a sense that being near water is going to be really really good for you to vocalize what you're saying to vocalize how you feel and to just go with the flow to really kind of embrace what what feels good to you and for some reason i'm really focusing on this woman's boat and i love how she's like customized it with like little stars so i think what's really really important is for you to focus on what feels good for you okay she's like put the paddle down she's like no bitch i don't need that paddle like bad bitch i don't need that pa i don't need no paddle to tell me what to do so she's like yes like going with the flow so i feel like that's really, really important for you to just kind of drop what feels unnecessary and bring in what feels necessary and also personalize your own journey you know you don't have to do what everyone else is telling you you don't have to do what everyone else wants you to be or do or feel so that's really really important i thought that's a really big message for a lot of you guys watching this video um and to also bring in what people have to say but don't always take it as a massive massive deal because their journey is different to yours and it's only an opinion you know 
So what you're doing is you're right now is you're releasing negativity within and around you. And this is actually going to create a massive expansion. So for some of you guys, you could actually be doing traveling as well. Um, but it could also be to do with your heart chakra, you know? I feel like you're releasing and decluttering your heart. And funnily enough, I actually had a massive, massive heart awakening the other day. Like my heart massively opened. And I literally couldn't breathe because it was so big. Like it was one of the biggest ones I've had. So I was like, holy crap, I think it's this Aries moon that's coming forward. Obviously, if you're watching this like like a year later, it will still resonate as this video is, my, my, a lot of my videos are pretty much timeless. So whatever you're going through right now, I feel like you can definitely do it. Keep clearing, don't block. I'm getting like a, um, a bath with a plug hole in it and it's basically plugging the water and the water is filling up. So what, you, what I want you to do is just pull out that plug hole and let things flow through. And this is basically exercising, listening to music, doing some manifesting techniques, going for a run, going outside, going in nature, and to let your pride down, you know, let, let that guard down. And I think your pride could possibly be getting in the way because you think this isn't moving, this isn't moving fast enough. Why have I why am I still single? Why have I not got this that I'm wanting? Why is this job not coming around? And that's basically what is happening is your ego is getting in the way. And I know it's so difficult to say guys, like I'm feeling like cringy just saying this myself because I've been going through a very, very similar process. So basically it's really important for you to focus on the now okay focus on transforming yourself boom 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 like i feel like you really need to get into all those crevices and pick pick at all of the um choose which element you want to focus on so it could be your physical health mental health um spiritual health and then just bring in all of those and do what feels good for you you know like what feels good for you right now if it's binging out on netflix if it's going for a run and even if you don't want to go for a run something is really nice to just get out even if it's just for a nice walk or just kind of breathing in fresh air i'm getting like fresh air on your skin and your hair so i think that's gonna be really really important for you to actually um just that that will actually almost be like an aura cleanse just being out in nature which is pretty much is anyway so and also this is going to create manifestation and the more personalized you make your journey the more manifestation is going to come in because you're not like following people, I know this sounds really, it's gonna sound really mean, but you're not following people like a sheep, you know, you're not becoming the same person as everyone else, you're becoming someone different. And the more you make your journey different, the more your energy is gonna be personalized to you and the universe is gonna be like, right, that is what they're gonna, that is what they need right now, that is what we need to manifest for this person, you know, for you. Okay, and it's also making a wish at the universe and just letting the universe help you. Ask the universe, what do I need to do? Is there anything I can do to heal myself? Please help me. You know, all those sort of things. Because I feel like these two are making a wish. And you could also be having a really deep conversation with somebody that could really help you. Um, possibly could be somebody from your past as well. Could be coming in, someone from your past, and they could be healing. They could help you help healing you. Even if it's like really like unhappy or like possibly depressing, like a depressing conversation yeah i think it'll actually make you feel a lot better because you're going to be decluttering and clearing negativity obviously i'm not manifesting an, a negative depressing conversation for you guys but you know what i mean like it may, may some for so some of you maybe a conversation that's quite deep but and it can be maybe possibly quite sad because it's going to be something that possibly is like oh my god i didn't realize this before and then you may be like oh having a hard time on yourself but honestly guys really important to release declutter because you're going to expand okay and manifest so thank you so much for watching guys um if you like this video please give it a big old like a uh, comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to please um get uh have a sorry i don't know what i'm saying if you would like to please um have a look down below in the description box i have all my reading my private reading rates so if you'd like a private reading all the information is down below and i'm feeling for you guys it's really important for you to have a pamper day as well if you guys want to do that uh and clearing your skin like having like a full-on like exfoliating time you know whatever feels good for you so thank you so much guys and yeah go with the flow guys expand and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video so today we have the gorgeous um aura quartz this is the angel aura quartz i think it's so stunning today i really feel some really good vibes from this so for you guys i think it's you're going to have a really good reading um obviously i have a good reading anyway but i feel like you for you guys it's going to be pretty like open and expansive and positive so we have the hanged man we then have gentleness yeah, I feel like this is very really gentle crystal as well. Um, okay, so we also have intuition, pipestone catalanite ancestors. Oh, I got a lot of orange and red today. We also have. 
Sorry guys, some weird noise is going on outside. Um, purification and detoxification. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. We also have uh, change and progress. <clears throat> water magic. Oh, I love that. Hibernation <clears throat> and regeneration. I'm just going to take some water. Okay. So for you guys... I love this because we have a lot of like cleansing energy for you guys. I think it's really, really important for you to, because we've got, we've got purification and detoxification, water magic, hibernation, gentleness. It's all about going inward and focusing on your solar plexus and your root chakra. What feels good for you to be grounded? What will it take for you to be grounded, you know? Um, and to just cult I think you're cultivating a lot of intuitive thoughts as well I think a lot of int like your intuition is on point okay I feel like you're really kind of um getting into your intuition and a lot if a lot of you guys if you're getting negative thoughts or anything like that be really really gentle to yourself because I feel like it's really important for you to kind of like hang on in there you know um if things have been quite rocky or if they're kind of waiting in the wings for something to happen that's because you are in, in the middle of changing and progressing, okay? And that's why possibly things haven't happened yet because you're at the moment, for some of you guys, you're, well, for a lot of you guys who have chosen this group are purifying and detoxifying yourself. And because of this, it's creating change. And basically, it's really important for you to focus on getting to the goal, okay? And basically using what resources you have to create what you need to have so it's almost like what you need to kind of focus on is your emotions okay what who are you basically who are you as a person what makes you light up what makes you feel good what makes you feel like really really powerful and goddess like obviously if you're a guy still goddess like you know um or god like you know and getting really grounded in that okay it's actually kind of balancing i feel like your throat third eye and your root chakra all together it's kind of balancing to the two sides of you like the the higher part and the the deeper part of you it's balancing getting you grounded and also getting you getting you in your intuition where it's not kind of overpowering you i feel like for a lot of you guys your intuition has been quite powerful the last few months possibly a few weeks few days and it's kind of been possibly a little bit overwhelming. So if you need to take some time out, do that guys, make sure you take some rest. Um, you may feel like you need to go, 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 but actually this is stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, and actually cultivating something for yourself. And it's like what's like creating something in the little cave. I feel like she's kind of sleeping and figuring out what, what she wants to happen. And this is this hangman. What is gonna be your next step? And it's just cultivating something with yourself without worrying, okay, what's the massive outcome that I need to, to create? It's all about actually focusing on creating something for yourself and using that for yourself, not for anyone else. And to be really gentle with yourself, if you're feeling a little bit kind of run down, stuck, confused, it, you are possibly gonna get messages and possibly a sign of a certain omen like a certain animal possibly a cat a dolphin um, a unicorn or a horse um, and also the color orange is coming through really strongly so if you see any orange animals um that's going to be really like a massive massive um sign for you and also possibly red animals as well um okay so yeah i'm getting like a red fox red squirrel um a red panda so possibly those as well and i feel like for some of you guys i'm getting china so i feel like for some of you guys you may be going to china um i'm getting like a yeah i'm getting like symbols being hit and like um very kind of ornate kind of chinese heritage you know i don't know why i'm getting that i'm also getting like paris and kind of like big structures so i'm not sure if you're going to go to like a city or anything like that but i'm also getting that as an extra message so it's really important for you to be grounded um and connect with your ancestors and kind of creating this whatever this is to you like creating your little pocket of niceness for yourself and not giving it to anyone else or you know give it to somebody else after you've done with it but it's almost like you need to pull back your energy because i feel like you're being too expansive like you're not obviously you can't be too expensive but you know what i mean where your energy is kind of out there too much and your aura is a bit too wide so and what i read um with um with crystal healing is with auras that sensitive people actually have a larger aura 
and can have a large aura and therefore they pick up on much more things than other people and can be a sponge so what's really important for you to actually make sure you are putting time out to hibernate to re to regenerate um your energy okay and you are changing and progressing so you are going to find the jewels and the the new pathway it's almost like this person has finally found like the new pathway and it's like oh my god it's so new it's so beautiful that's basically what's going to happen for you guys and listen to your intuitive thoughts and it's basically like if you're getting psychically attacked it's really important for you to work on your third eye chakra make sure work on your aura and detoxifying making sure you're not getting involved with other people's energies to the point where it's actually really affecting you even on a subconscious level you might not even realize this okay so really look after yourself guys i'm getting just an aura is really like a really important thing for you right now it's focusing on your aura so thank you so much for, uh, for watching guys, I really really appreciate it. If you would like to, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe. If you would like to, also I do private readings. So if you'd like to get a um, private reading with me, all the information is in the description box down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love guys. Bye. Don't fuck with my freedom, I came up to get me some. Also group number three before I go, um, I think it's also really important for you to speak your truth. Um, if you feel like you can't speak up, I think it's really important, actually, this is a time to speak up. Um, but kind of do it in a very gentle way, not in like an aggressive way. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing a long dress, so I don't know what that's about, but there you go, guys. Hope you liked it. I'm also seeing gems. Okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye.